Hello and welcome back to Artful. Today we're going to make some pop art. I've made a stencil of pop star Billie Eilish. I've broken down the stencils into individual colours. This is a simpler version of how Andy Warhol would have created his famous prints of Marilyn Monroe, only we're using paper stencils rather than photoreactive chemicals. I use a craft knife to cut out my stencils, but you could use a pair of scissors. Just remember when using sharp objects, be as careful as possible. You'll see that I've taped off my printing area so that it more accurately matches the shape and size of my stencils. The first layer I'm going to tackle is my yellow background layer. So applying a liberal amount of yellow paint with a spoon, keeping my screen raised away from the surface. I'm using my squeegee to flood the screen, pushing the paint. Then I quickly flip the screen and stick my paper layer on top, making sure that it lines up with my printing area. I can stick down the stencil with an extra bit of tape if needs be. Then flipping the screen again, I can pull the paint towards myself in one smooth motion to make the print. Make sure you're holding your squeegee blade at a 45 degree angle so the rubber of the blade flexes. And there's a nice clean background layer. But no time to admire your handiwork. Get that screen and squeegee immediately under the sink to wash the paint off the mesh. We use an acrylic based paint, which dries very quickly. So make sure you immediately wash your screen thoroughly under hot soapy water. On to layer two. I'm using a dark blue, this time to fill in the stencil of Billy's hair. Using a spoon, I'm putting a large amount of the dark blue at the bottom of my printing area and then using my squeegee again to flood the screen. This darker blue is a colour from our upgrade box, a link for which will be in the description. I then flip the screen, align my stencil to the printing area, flip the screen again and pull the paint towards myself so the dark blue hair layer prints on top of the yellow that we've already made. And then straight to the sink. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but this needs to be almost muscle memory. You should be able to complete all your colour layers without ruining your screen. Next, I'm using some red for the mouth, and again, we're repeating our steps. One, application of the paint. Two, flooding the paint without the screen touching a surface. Three, flip the screen. Four, stick the stencil, making sure it's lined up to our printing area. And five, flip the screen again on top of our yellow and dark blue and using the squeegee blade to pull the paint towards yourself. And there's another layer done and another trip to the sink. I'm repeating this process for another slightly more fiddly detail, Billy's eyes, using a light blue. Warhol started making screen prints instead of more traditional painting as he wanted his work to be mass produced and his process to be as machine-like as possible. There's our light blue finished and after another trip to the sink, we're ready to tackle our black outline layer which is by far the fiddliest paper stencil that I've made. So one last time for luck, use your spoon to apply a generous amount of paint. Flood the screen without the screen touching the surface. Flip your screen over and line up our fiddly final layer with our printing area. Flip your screen again on top of our yellow, red, dark blue and light blue paint. And pull the black paint towards yourself on one smooth motion. And there, we're finished. There's our induction into the process of making pop art. This took me around two hours in total, but that's factoring in cutting out and printing all my fiddly paper stencils. If you enjoyed this video, we've got some other screen printing tutorials on our YouTube, so make sure you like and subscribe or visit artful.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back again soon with a new video.